in our previous video never subtract part 1 we discussed that we can do subtraction with the help of addition before understanding how we can do it let me do one problem for you for example i want to subtract the row second from row first and row third will be my answer so i will be adding something over here into this so that my answer is one adding something in the row two at row three so that the answer of two and three becomes the row one when nine is added to seven it becomes sixteen it is six six may five when added it becomes eleven it is two one when added it becomes three 7, 3 is added, it becomes 10 and when 9 and 7 is added, it becomes 16 and when 3, it is 4 when added, it becomes 7. So, when this row is subtracted from the row first, the answer becomes the row 3. I have not made subtraction. I have used the addition operator to do this. How that is done? Let us understand in this simple example. This is row first, this is row second and this is row third. Add something in row 2 at row 3. At row 3, add something in row 2 so that answer becomes the first row. So, in this 3, if we add 3, it becomes 6. If in this 4, if we add 3, it becomes 7. If in this 3, we add 1, it becomes 4. And if we add 6 into this 2, it becomes 8. Again, if we add 6 in this 1, it becomes 7. Now, if you detect second row, from the first row, the answer will be 66133. Three. So, this is a very simple example where carryovers are not involved. In this case, there were carryovers. So, here the carryovers not, are not involved. In the next example, we will learn how to deal with the carryovers while doing subtraction with the help of addition.